The introduction of the mobility package has brought multiple changes to how driver routes and schedules can be planned. We're here to let you know how to make the most of these rules. With the implementation of the mobility package, drivers are now allowed to work for two consecutive weeks without regular weekly rests, provided that they start the two consecutive reduced weekly rests away from their home countries or their employer's establishment countries. It's important to note the drivers still have to take two regular and two reduced weekly rests within a four-week period for this rule to apply. What's more, this comes with its own set of rules regarding compensation. In order to compensate for two consecutive reduced weekly rests, you have to compensate them on block before the next weekly rest. Remember that a reduced weekly rest, which makes a minimum of 24 hours, will leave you with 21 to be compensated. Over two weeks, this will leave you with 42 additional hours to be compensated right before your weekly rest period. It should be noted that in this case, the mobility package simply introduces an additional option. The choice of whether to take two consecutive reduced weekly rest periods or not lies with the driver. In any case, Tachogram is up to speed with all the latest rules and regulations and will always show exactly where you stand. If you would like to learn more about this and related topics, like taking weekly rests on trains and ferries, check out our blog linked in the video description. Also, watch our other videos on the mobility package to learn more about the changes and how they affect the work and rest of drivers. Safe travels from Tachogram.